Welcome to the Hunter Report. This is my friend JJ. I created her to test my photography setup so that I can have something moving while I'm testing low light conditions with lenses. But this is a do-it-yourself build video to show you the process that I took to make this. I've been an engineer for over a decade and I've solved so many problems. Um, some of the problems I've solved, I've wasted lots of time, I've wasted companies' time, um, and that's what young engineers do. They take solutions that are you fancy, uh, complicated, um, they're cool, right, but they waste time and uh, they're, they're really not efficient. My goal was to make something that moved, um, just very simple, as simple as possible. And it actually took me a few days, believe it or not, because I'm not really a mechanical engineer. And uh, there's a few ways you can do this. You can have um, something called an Arduino here, and you could buy a servo motor, and then you have to hook the servo up to the Arduino. You have to write some computer code just to make it fire back and forth. That's one way to skin this cat, but that's still way too complicated. To me, it's just like I have a servo motor, and I just need a simple circuit to make it go back and forth. The solution I ended up settling on was this little bits uh, setup. It's two little bits. This is the power unit right here. And then there's a servo motor and that's all you need. I was able to shop around and get this uh, price very competitively. Uh, I went to Radio Shack and they price matched the price I would have gotten on Amazon. But uh, this is a super simple solution, no headaches. But then after I actually got the servos running, I had to figure out how to get this mounted. So let me really step you through all the ways that I took to make this happen. Please subscribe, please give me thumbs up, and let's get into some do-it-yourself stuff. So there's two little bits in this build, the power unit and the servo unit. So basically, you, mag you plug these two together, they're magnetic, they only let you plug together in the correct configuration. What I actually ended up doing first was I mounted a stick on top of this servo motor and I was doing a like a stick approach. It was the stick was too heavy and it kept on falling off of the servo. So take a look at the failed attempt and look how complicated it was. It, when things get too complicated, you're usually going down the wrong path. This is version one of the rig and you'll see that uh, it's very complicated and um, the weight of the stick weighed the nut down. So I'm gonna go redo this because it's not stable enough. Okay, so now we're back. And just the beauty of this approach is that I taped the servo just to a piece of cardboard and then the picture is mounted like that. So let's go turn this on. Really simple. Gravity is doing most of the work. Now the question is how to mount it, and I've got this really handy dandy vice clamp, and very, very carefully, very, because this this uh, servo is just a piece of plastic, and it could easily be crushed. Uh, so now I got a little bit of tension, and just to get it nice and solidly in there. So pretty cool, huh? This took me days, believe it or not, because the stick approach that I did, I was fixated on the stick approach, and so this was the simplest solution to overcome gravity, to work with gravity, and that's always the key, is, is always find the simplest solution. Please subscribe, please give me thumbs up, and best of luck in all of your tinkering endeavors. Remember, simplicity. That's right, pose for me. I love that smile, I love that is, keep it just like that, great. Welcome to the Hunter Report. I've got the Sigma 85mm f1.4. This is the most quintessential lens that you're going to need for things like sports, action photography, stand-up comedy, theater, anything that's dark and moving. This is a beautiful lens. It has great crispness and it gives you a capability that you're not going to get with any other lens, a fast 85 lens is a quintessential tool for any portrait photographer. This is my friend Jiajie. I have her mounted up on a servo motor and uh, you might want to check out another video of how I actually made this rig happen. 
but it allows me to perfectly test a low light situation. Where